Hey everyone, welcome back to Tales of Zillia episode 33, I believe. So we are on our way to go back uh, to the dude's apartment. So, we have a long way to go. Let us go on. Oh, gosh. That actually kind of a little bit scared me a little bit. And that is... That is it. Oh! Okay, hold on. To here? Yes. So in the previous episode, we bought, uh, we fought a optional boss, and we got a um, weapon from him, from him, or from she, I don't know, from her. But unfortunately, the stats are not that great. The one that I've been using was actually a bit better. But um, fortunately, the design of the sword is freaking pretty. So I kind of equipped it to uh, Mila, and you know we'll see if it's uh, worth it. Oh, I guess all the monsters are gone. Just people here. That's weird. Just like chests, empty chests, and people just reading books. Ah, oh, weird. So there are no monsters. Cause there were a lot before. Whoop. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. As you can see, this weapon is as pretty as what I was uh, describing. You cannot really see it. I'm just kind of joking around. What the heck, man? Yo. Yeah, win. Yeah, too easy. Oh, oh. Did you see that? That flip. Fire! Good in! Uh, your breath is toxic. <laughs> I get it? That's the sword. You can kind of see it. Oh, you'll be able to see it right here. There you go. That's that's kind of pretty. You know, I'll, I'll show you up in the close-up. Here you go. Drando! So it's very pretty sword, but we'll equip with this one, which is not as pretty as it is, but um, not pretty as the other one. But the stats are much better. And in JRPGs, mostly the stats that we care about. Usually some people go for the looks. I will go for the looks if I'm good at this game. But we'll see. I would not uh, sell that sword because it's really, really pretty. Too bad I um, fought the boss much later than the game wanted me to. I don't know how that's prob like uh, how that uh, happened. Probably I leveled up my item shop level too quickly. Maybe, maybe I was too aggressive about it. I love this slow JS music. Ah! So many monsters, yet they're so easy. So I don't want to waste my time killing them. No need of uh, getting the EXP from them because they're too easy. Did I just hear like meow? Did uh, did I hear meow? Oh, that was a that's a cute cute sound. Uh, flower monster. Flower. Meow. So apparently this place is all about dead jazz. I don't understand. The spirit fossil came off. How is she able? Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off there. Yeah, I don't know how I'm walking too. To tell the truth, actually. Boop. And I believe he lived in the. Uh, second floor, I think? I think. Whoa! The music was intense for a second. And it's a place that he has a lot of piles of poop. And we talk to him. Feel free to use this room whenever you like. Rest here. Yes. What? Oh, it's Alvin. 
in a a swing. What are you doing, Alvin? He's he's not really answering. Figured I'd stay away since everyone's so sick of me. That Maybe is not true. You're a big fat liar. Well, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's just who I am, all right. And what about you, Elise? Not a liar? Oh, she did lie, though. Wondering what to do? Yeah. I just don't know what the right choice is. Well, you're talking to the wrong guy. I don't know much about being a kid. Never really had a childhood. Oh, come on now. Don't so use that method on me. So member of Exodus ever since you were just a little boy? Yeah, that's right. What? I thought it was okay to trick people. When things would go bad, I'd just disappear. That's an easy life, isn't it? I'd take the path of least resistance. I pretty much just did whatever didn't hurt me, that's all. Yeah, but you gotta then face the fear sometimes. You won't be going with Mila and Jude? You know what? That kid forces me to wake up and smell reality. Yeah, smell the reality. I slap you. They're all just so mature. The way they hide their real feelings about me. Oh, now I get it. You're lonely, aren't you, Alvin? I didn't know I've there was a sharky on the back feelings, of her. I suppose. I'm gonna fix that. But even if they do hate me, I have to stick it out. I'm not leaving this time. So does that mean that you really want to be their friend again? I've learned that building real trust. I guess he wants to be a friend, a but uh, think. he kind of betrayed them, Being so maybe like he's not. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't really have. Um, it seems like the older you get, chance to become a friend again, it is maybe. To share your feelings with others. Anyway, no one will want to be friends with me until I can make the first move. Oh, it's a sad bunny, isn't it? Oh. It's hard. But it sure beats being alone. I'm a sad bunny. I wonder what I'm supposed to do now. What do I have to do to become happy? You're already happy, Elise. Well, it's different for everyone. You just have to find what works for you. I'm sure you know what you want by now. I guess so. It hasn't been easy, but I've learned a lot traveling with everybody. Aw, that's good. I know that. I definitely don't want to stop, that's for sure. I want to keep on learning more, and I want to make some new friends. Aww, I love her. Yeah, that sounds pretty good to me. Some help you are. I told you, I'm the wrong guy to ask about this stuff. Sorry about that, kid. Don't call me a kid. Oh! <sighs> Whoa! That's a thank you. I just wanted you to know that from oh. now on, I'm gonna be your friend, okay? <laughs> okay. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about it. <sighs> how come the kids are the wisest people in this group? Freaking said bunny said, the the girl Elise. My God, I I don't know how to feel about that. I guess it's a little cute thing. I'll take that as a little cute thing. Check it. Oh. Trouble sleeping, young miss. Yeah, I still haven't made up my mind. What about you? I've reached a decision. I have decided to go with them. Well, he doesn't I have see. that much to live. He's an old man. Who's still on the fence? You're not alone. Huh? 
When Lord Klein passed away, I inherited the keys to the kingdom, along with many doubts. But eventually you figured out what to do, right? I used to think that everything works out if you do your best, but I've been proven wrong every time. That is not true! Does Agria still haunt you? I keep thinking, there might have been something else I could have done for her. I know that feeling well. Oh, you mean with King Noctigal? <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Let me tell you, life does not become any simpler the older you get. But I must say, I am a bit surprised by you. In what way? I was under the impression that Jude was the one who occupied your every waking thought. Uh, come on now, don't be silly! <laughs> is it obvious? Oh, come yes, on now. You know, I once thought that if I became a nurse, that I might find happiness. After all, when Jude's happy, I'm happy. Simple enough, right? Well, Jude but isn't now, just Mila. I'm starting to get the feeling that Jude just might be better off without me. Oh, it's starting to snow. I, mean, I don't want to get in his way again, you know? Leah. Would you like to know what my reasons are and why I've decided to go along with Jude and Mila? Are you willing to tell me? Sure, that is why he brought it up, I hope. I would like to be there to walk with them in the future that they wish to create. Aww, little Dougie, <laughs> Dougie tail right there. That sounds like you. But that's Chucky. not all. I plan to take the lead and pull the two of them along behind me. Oh, you're gonna be the that leader. You wanna be the true Oh, you wanna be the tactician for this and group. I? What do I really want? Maybe you wanna be the little I you know you whiner in our group. Answer, miss. <laughs> what I really want is to see Jude's smiling face again. I suppose that's it. That's a good reason, isn't it? Good enough reason, I have to say. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. I guess this is Jude and Mila, I assume. There we go. I like how it's snowing, but there's no snow on the ground. Hey. Don't you want to sit? You've changed. Oh, so it's really. like a freaking, uh, any other honest, love drama right there. I'm so scared I can't even sleep. Romantic comedy right here. I told you before, if we can just dispel the schism, I'll handle everything from there. There's no reason for you to be afraid. Mila! Whoa. If the schism disappears... Oh my god, but the game froze for so a second. The temporal crossroads, right? There's like no sound for the longest time. Mila! Quiet, quiet, yes. quiet. The destruction of the schism means the death of Maxwell. The temporal crossroads were born from Maxwell and that unique spirit climb, so they will vanish too. Why? Why didn't I realize what's happened to you? Huh? Wait, I'm not really catching on, Jude. Mm -hmm. I know. You never told me because... Because you wanted me to find my own answer first. Isn't I, that right? Are, are you okay, Jude? What are you talking about? Oh, he's scratching his ass now. Oh no. Mila? It was just easier for me that way. Huh? What is she hiding? What are you hiding? The entity known as Maxwell 
is essential for the spirits. So they will need a new Maxwell. Then we won't be able to stay together anymore? Oh, she's the sadness the new Maxwell. of parting is a human emotion. Such emotions no longer apply to me. Oh shoot, he's the next Maxwell. And there's no other way, is there? Maxwell created me, so perhaps he could restore my human body. That's how he, she came back. So this is not really... Like, she's not human anymore, I guess. She's the god. Jude, is that what you really want? Let's create a new future for all the spirits and people in the world. And let's create it together. Well, dude, together. Mila is kind of out of your league now. You're a human being. You're young, Thanks. but uh, you're a human being. Mila, on the other hand, actually became a freaking goddess of this world. Oh, what the heck? Gaius! Out of nowhere, man. With you? Just relax. I've come here to tell you something, and that's all. We're gonna I'm stop talking. you. We are ready to commence our operation to wipe out every Spyrex in Olympus. So your attack from before was just to check whether Spyrites were usable? Exactly. You came here to tell us that? No. Listen, what the you heck? have a dream for the future of the world that is vastly different from mine. Yeah, I've got a so, different world. What the heck is that? You plan to fight us here? This is a piece of Muse's power. Okay. The power to slice through space? What of it? Wow. Here, I give you a chance to return to Reza Maxia quietly if you choose to. Hmm. <laughs> You'd still offer us a chance to end things peacefully. Gaius, you know full well that we can't walk the same path. Not anymore. So you say. But I wonder if Mila agrees with that. Why should I? What makes you think I've wavered? One can only handle so much. Take Mila. Well, okay, Mila is insane. Insane. What about her? She's insane. She is very torn. She yeah. has incredible power, yet she knows not how to use it. In hindsight, I was cruel to force such a weak person to become strong so suddenly. You want to save her too, don't you? Along with the rest of my people. Stand down, and I will take over. Your words cannot shake my will, nor can they alter my mission. It remains unchanged. Even after all this time. Eat that, Gaius. I see. What the heck is that swag walk? Jude. Hmm? Our choices matter. They're meaningful for precisely that reason. Because they're our choices. Following the will of others will lead nowhere. That's why our choice right now is more important than our own survival. So Jude, please. Watch over me so that I stay on my path until the very end. Okay, come on. Now you're the god. Yes. This uh I promise. This human boy is going to look after you. That's crazy talk. And then we go to bed, and everyone's a good night's sleep. Of course he woke up before everyone. If he was like... Sleep well? I don't know, 40 years old, I think it would have been better. Yes. Or 30, 35. That might have been 35. the best sleep I've had in my entire life. I was dead to the world. I decided I'm coming with you. 
I won't bore you with my reasons, though. What the heck is that? Ah, ah, ah. Let's do our best. Yep. I'm coming too. And me three. Okay, Tipo. I shall accompany you as well. Don't even. Wouldn't do for the only Olympian here to sit this one out. So you've made up your minds. There's no way they're not gonna join my party after all this time. Then there's something we need to tell you. Check this out. Nifty knife. Nifty Gaius knife. Gaius to us last night. He called it a piece of Muse's power. Does that mean we could use it to tear open the breach? Looks like it. Gaius truly is inscrutable. He's mocking us. I don't think so. No. We might be fighting against one another, but he's a good guy. Nice to see you're actually talking to me. Uh, uh well. Oh, come on now, I Alvin. It. Yeah, Thanks. be nice about it. You're Oh my welcome. god, the dog. <laughs> it's a bummer there's nobody here to send off the heroes. That shouldn't be a problem. We'll just have to accept that we're unsung heroes. Who needs an adoring crowd? Let's have a pre-battle cheer. If you insist. Hip hip hooray. Couldn't hurt. Make sure to put some feeling into it. Indeed. Here goes nothing. Everyone, let's finish what we started. Yay! Yay! Oh. At least I thought Elvis, uh, big brother is gonna send us off with like a fireworks or something, but um... No, it's just like, let's do this! Yeah! Everyone's like, la 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 la. <laughs> let's walk along. Let's equip, but uh, not the Sharky. Oh, so pretty. Her wand. Not the Sharky. Pet dragon. Maybe a little, uh, the bed head. Oh, it's not coming out of her head, is it? I cannot see. Seems. It seems like it. I don't know. And the ear is covered by the hat. What's this? Okay, that's horrible. You know what? I will not have anything there. But I think that's gonna be it for today's episode. It was a huge uh, cutscene. But I hope you guys liked it. We are finally ready to go to... D battle. Hopefully not too long of a road ahead of us, but uh, the end of the road. And we'll be able to fight Gaius. Maybe we'll fight Gaius, I'm not sure. But Gaius, you wait for us, because we're coming to get you. I'll see you guys next in the next episode of Tales of Zillia.